Cream, the British supergroup that emerged in 1966, quickly cemented itself as a transformative force in rock music thanks to its unique blend of blues and jazz. Comprised of Eric Clapton on guitar, Jack Bruce on bass and vocals, and Ginger Baker on drums. The band drew heavily from the blues traditions, with Clapton's guitar work often reflecting his admiration for blues icons like Robert Johnson and Muddy Waters. The band's existence coincided with the formation of another legendary group, Led Zeppelin. As Cream were disbanding in 1968, Led Zeppelin began to rise. Despite surface similarities, the members of Cream distinctly set themselves apart from Led Zeppelin. Eric Clapton, the last living member of Cream, shared with Nigel Williamson in 2004 that while Led Zeppelin carried forward the legacy of Cream, they took it in a direction he didn't particularly respect. Led Zeppelin took up our legacy, but then they took it somewhere else that I didn't really have a great deal of admiration for, Clapton remarked. Jack Bruce and Ginger Baker, both of whom passed away in 2014 and 2019 respectively, were also vocal in their criticism of Led Zeppelin. Bruce was particularly harsh, dismissing Led Zeppelin with a blunt, Get lost, Zeppelin, you're crap. You've always been crap and you'll never be anything else. The worst thing is that people believe the crap that they're sold. Cream is ten times the band that Led Zeppelin is. You're gonna compare Eric Clapton with Bloody Jimmy Page? In the 2012 documentary, Beware of Mr. Baker, directed by Jay Bulger, Ginger Baker expressed his disdain for being compared to other rock drummers like Keith Moon and John Bonham. While he acknowledged Bonham's technique, he didn't mince words about his perceived superiority, stating, The general public are so dumb that anyone could think that Bonham was anywhere near the kind of drummer I am is just extraordinary. Bonham had technique, but he couldn't swing a sack of shit. Or Mooney, for that matter. I mean, if they were still alive today, ask them. The general public are so fucking dumb that, you know, like, that anybody could think that Bonham was anywhere near a, this kind of drummer I am. But it's just extraordinary. Bonham had technique, but he couldn't swing a fucking sack of shit. Or Mooney, for that matter. I mean, if they were still alive today, ask them. <laughs> When they think of Ginger, they think of Keith Moon and Bonham. No, 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 no. Ginger was nothing like those players. His musical capabilities are full spectrum. He can write and compose and arrange, and he has an ear, and he is harmonic. He's a fully formed musician. In a candid discussion with LEO Weekly, Robert Plant, the iconic voice behind Led Zeppelin, offered a surprising perspective on his band's musical identity. Contrary to the hard rock label often associated with Led Zeppelin, Plant clarified, we weren't rock and roll, describing their output as just a band that played some mean stuff. He elaborated on the genre misclassification, noting that it was only after their music was in the hands of the misconstrued did it begin to be referred to as hard rock, emphasizing we were just making music. Plant extended this sentiment to other musical powerhouses of the era, including Janis Joplin and Cream. He asserted, You can't call them rock and roll, challenging the conventional genre labels that have historically been applied to these artists. Reflecting on what he considers authentic rock and roll, Plant identified the genre's true pioneers, Fats Domino, Jerry Lee Lewis, and Little Richard. These artists, in Plant's view, represent the essence of rock music, distinguishing them from the musical experiments of his own band and their contemporaries.